Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Riti Kumari and I'm back with another lecture of the DBMS series. So in the last set of lectures we are digging more into the theory part like schemas, architecture, abstraction, data independence and much more things. I know theory can be sometimes boring as well but these are terms you really need to know and it would re be really helpful in the queries as well in the interviews as well. So today like we talk mostly about tables, right? what is database collection of interrelated data some tables but like there are many small concepts you need to know like in a table like the rows the columns then the primary key then some constraints so these are some smaller terms you should be knowing if you are knowing you can definitely skip this video because this is very beginner level video because again i am taking consideration that someone who is a very beginner who doesn't have any knowledge about databases database management system and much more things can at least understand understand this series and it would be helpful to people who are doing BSc, BCA and everyone right. So because of that I thought to like explain the simpler terms but again if you have an idea I would suggest that watch it at 2x but uh, it would surely refresh all the uh, like all the details you had in your mind or all the things you have remembered so it would be really a refresher for you. So uh, without any further delay let's get started. So in this particular video, we would be looking more on the essential components of table. So uh, again, you would be saying ki why you are teaching us what is row, what is column. But again, there are some words for rows, some words for column and much more things. So let's look at it and then we will uh, start with all the ER models and then the SQL queries and much more things. So basically the very first term is row or tuple. So basically the row, like in table, what we say is ki this is a table. Okay, so this these are the columns and these are the rows. But consider that someone asks you like what is the value, uh, what are the elements present in this particular tuple. It might sound confusing na, sometimes because we generally remember these terms rows and columns. We don't know what is tuple, we don't know what is attribute. So in like this particular definition, we are definitely going to learn key row is also called as tuple and column is also called as attribute in DBMS. So basically rows are known as records. See, we got a third name as well, right? So first is row, second is tuple and third is records. So rows are also known as records or tuples and it represent individual entries or instances of data within the tuple, within the table. So basically again uh, if we are uh, inserting any individual entries for some particular columns like consider name, consider class, consider uh, roll number. So if we are giving some individual entries for everything that is a row like uh, the place where we are giving individual entries in the table. So uh, there is one more term which is kind of can be asked in your online assessment test of like one mask or uh, in your like semester exams as well because like again uh, people tend to forget the name like tuple for row and record so there is one more thing which is cardinality so basically what is cardinality now the number of rows in a table is called as cardinality consider that this is my table okay So this is the table I have consider it is a book table. Now someone asked me what is the cardinality of this table. So what I'll do is I'll kind count the number of rows. So this is R1, this is R2, this is R3 and this is R4. So all together the cardinality becomes 4. So cardinality is basically the number of rows in the tables. Now the second term is columns or attributes again the column is a name which is a very generic name so we tend to remember but attribute is something we tend to forget so column is also called as attribute column represent the attributes of the data being stored and are named to describe the information they hold consider like id name and age so basically columns are basically the attributes the table is having like consider that i am a person i may have some attributes like i may have a id i may have a name i may have a age i may have a roll number and much more things so basically all the attributes of mine i can store it in table uh, in the column 
in the tables so basically column represent the attributes of the data which is being stored and are named to describe the information they hold so consider that uh, there is a table considered okay so now i gave here riti okay i should have make a bigger table okay so this is a table and here it is riti and here i have given 99372 dot 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 now can you understand what is riti and what is 99372 dot dot so basically what we do is na ki we give a attribute name so basically this is a riti the uh, name is riti and phone number is this thing so basically whenever we define any attribute for all the entries which are feeded in the row that is called as column so again uh, as we read about cardinality in row there is one thing which is called as degree which is also the number of columns in a table okay so t is a typo so number of columns in a table is called as degree so basically for this case the number of columns are c1 c2 c3 and c4 so overall the degree becomes 4 so basically cardinality is the number of rows degree is the number of columns rows is also called as tuples or records column is also called as attribute so you can remember all these terms now coming to the next slide this is a table which i have taken for reference so basically you can see these are all the rows or tuples these are all the columns and attributes so iske bare mein to we got a clear understanding what is rows and what is columns but what is this term primary key like what is this primary key so primary key is something now which uniquely identifies the table so let's look at it in the next slide so basically keys are at number 2 but let's see with the constraint and then we will come to keys so what are constraints so constraint define rules or condition that must be satisfied by the data in the table common constraint which include uniqueness nullability default values and much more things so consider i'm making a table theek hai ab in that table there could be some fields which could be null there could be some fields which couldn't be null consider that i am making a table about person and i am uh, like mentioning like i am making aadhar card of a person theek hai so in the aadhar card of person i want name i want the first name i want the last name okay but middle name is something which a person may have may not have so that column could be null as well so we can set ki theek hai this column can be null but the first name and last name is something now which is required so we have to mention ki that columns are not null so we put a constraint that these columns are not null and this column can be null or something so these constraint help us na ki even if i am like feeding any data and if i forget to put the first name of a person and i just put on the last name it will give me an error or it won't like it will show a error in the database itself so consider like this this example which i told right now so for aadhar card details i have the first name i have the last name and i have the middle name so this is something which can have null values but this is these both are something which cannot have null values so these particular type of things na these particular type of checks whenever we put on in our database that is called as constraint it basically ensures ki we are not putting any kind of data in the database there are some constraints which we need to follow whenever we are putting data into the database so there are many constraints first one is the unique constraint which ensures the value in a column are unique across the table so if there are values in a column consider id so i need to uh, take care that id is something which should unique uh, which, which should remain unique for all the entries which are there in the database so for that case unique constraint comes into picture now the second one is not null constraint as i gave the example of the sadhar card ki first name and last name couldn't be null so we put a not null constraint now the third one is check constraint which enforces a condition to be true for each row so there would be a check constraint that consider like there is a person and for them voter id can only be made when they are above 18 years so there would be a check on the birth date that check if the birth date is uh, uh, above 18 years then only we can uh, make the voter id of a person uh, otherwise we cannot and the 
fourth and final one is default constraint so it provides a default value for a column if no value is specified uh for this what example i can give you okay so consider that okay consider you are in nursery class theek okay? hai so you might have a name you might have some date of birth and you might have a section theek okay? hai and consider in your school there is only one section that is nursery a so what it will do na ki it will feed the name it will feed the date of birth but when it comes to the section there is only one section a so what we do is ki we make default as a so if i somehow left this particular field uh, field which is not filled so uh, basically it will take the default value and it is feed it as a so default values what it ensures ki if the column is not having any values they would be having a default value as this so like these all terms are na you can understand from the very first thing first name of this unique so something very unique not null so something shouldn't be null check so there is a check on true or false or if there is a condition and we are checking it on the basis of that default constraint something default we are putting a value so matlab from the very first letter you can like from the very first letter you can understand the meaning of all these terms now the very last is keys which i showed you here as well this primary key now what keys help us in so key what basically it does na it ensures that there is uniqueness in our table so basically a primary key is a unique identifier for each record record is also called as row so each record in the table it ensures that each row can be uniquely identified and accessed within the table so what does this means so consider i am having a table theek okay. now i am having a table as name i am having the table name okay just me let me make up a table na so i'm just making a more big table theek okay. hai okay so this is name this is a uh, consider address and this is consider phone number theek okay. hai consider there are twins theek okay. hai and both of them have the same names so consider that i and my twin both are having the same name as riti and we both live at the same place that is bangalore and the phone number is also same for both of us now since we are twins i know we might have same name we might have same address we might have same phone number but there would be something unique between us na matlab there would be something unique ki uh, this particular person is consider having a roll number 1 i am having a roll number 2 or there should be something unique which could like at least identify my entire entries in that particular table like uh, it is for riti 1 or it is for riti 2 so basically uh, what primary key does na ki consider if i add a new column called as id and here i give id 1 id 2 now whenever i need to see data for riti 1 whether i am considering twins but i am saying like uh, whenever i need to uh, see data for riti 1 i'll just uh, make a query based on id it will give me all the required data whenever i need details about riti 2 i'll make the query based on the id and it will give me the entire data for riti 2 so there might be a possibility na ki many uh, rows uh, may have same data ठीक है मतलब कंसिडर यू आर हैविंग द सेम एड्रेस एंड योर सिस्टर इज ऑल्सो हैविंग द सेम एड्रेस यू आर हैविंग द फोन नंबर ऑफ योर फादर एंड योर सिस्टर इज ऑल्सो गिविंग द योर सिस्टर और योर ब्रदर इज ऑल्सो गिविंग द फोन नंबर ऑफ योर फादर सो देर माइट बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी डेट देर कुड बी सेम डेटा विच एग्जिस्ट इन द डेटा बेस सो फॉर दैट थिंग प्राइमरी की इज इंट्रोड्यूस विच यूनिकली आइडेंटिफाइज ऑल द रिकॉर्ड्स और ऑल द रोज इन द टेबल सो इट इज बेसिकली काइंड ऑफ अ यूनिक आइडेंटिफायर विच यूनिकली आइडेंटिफाइज ऑल द रोज फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन Uh, or all the records for a particular person again there are two keys primary key and foreign key uh, again i'm not uh, discussing in much depth about all like these keys i'm just discussing about these terms because these terms would be used more and more from now and you should be having a proper idea if i'm saying that it is a record so you should be able to understand okay record is something which is called as a row or if i'm saying tuple then you should also understand okay it is a row or attribute column so you should be having that proper understanding 
Now the second key is a foreign key. So a foreign key is a field in a table that refers to the primary key of another table. It establishes the re relationships between two tables. Now consider that there are two tables. Okay. And both tables have somehow data about me only. First table is having data about my name, my age, my roll number. And second data, uh, second table is having uh, like details about my phone number and my address. Okay. So there are two tables which are having same data about me. What if ki there is one particular field ID which is there in table one as well and table two as well. So uh, if there is an ID section in table 1 and table 2 which is kind of having similar data, we called it as foreign key. So foreign key is basically a field in a table that refers to the primary key of another table. It establishes re relationships between tables. So basically it helps us to establish relationship between two different tables. So when we will be going in the query part and the SQL query part or in the ER model itself when we would be proceeding ahead, I'll be explaining about all these keys in very much depth but it's just that for you to have a reference so that you don't miss out the next videos so this was all about this video i hope you like this video this was a very uh, beginner friendly video so uh, i hope you don't curse me for this but again guys see i'm trying to like cover each and everything because it should be something which should be beginner friendly everyone would be able to understand a simple terms as well right uh, i've seen my friends who are like very good at dvms but the, if they were asked in the interviews like uh, tell me what tuples are there the cardinality or the degree they weren't able to say that and it is a very minor concept now so it throws an image on the interviewer that the person hasn't read it very well so uh, this was all about this video if you're liking my series please hit the like button it gives me a lot of motivation if you are also liking my series you can share it among your friends because again it will give me a lot of motivation and uh, till then take care keep learning keep growing keep smiling bye all